Hey everyone and welcome back to another easy Excel tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make advanced drop downs in Excel. So just to give you an example you can see here in column B I have a drop down for country. Our options are Canada, Italy, and United States. Then I have another drop down here and it automatically populates the cities based on our selection in B2. So if I pick Canada I get Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. And if I click Italy, for example, we get Rome, Milan, and Venice. So I'll show you how to create this dependent dropdown. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new workbook from scratch. And for our first dropdown, it will just be a simple dropdown. So we're going to go over to data. We're going to click data validation. We're going to click list. And here's where we can enter our country names. So we'll do Canada, comma, Italy, comma, United States. Okay. And you can see here, we have our simple drop down, Canada, Italy, United States. Now we want to create a second drop down here for the city. Our options for a city will depend on the country that we select in column B. So if we click Canada, what do we want our options to be for Canada? Let's make a little list over here. We can do Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. For Italy, let's do Rome, let's do Milan, and let's do Venice. And for the United States, let's do New York, Los Angeles, and Texas. So those are the options that we want for each city. So how do we get them to appear in the list here? So all we have to do is first we'll give a named range to each of our list here. So what that means is we'll just select the three cities for Canada. And then in the box over here, we'll just type Canada. Now this list essentially has a name called Canada. We'll do the same for Italy. Italy. And we'll select the three cities for United States and we'll call that United States. Now you can see here we're getting an error message because when you're naming a range, you actually can't have a space in the name. So what we have to do is simply call it United States. There we go. Now we have a named range for each of our lists of cities for each country, and we can proceed with creating our second dropdown for city. So if we go here, we'll go data validation. We're going to click list again. And now here in our source, instead of typing the options, we're going to make a reference to our named range. And to do that, we'll use our indirect formula equals indirect. And then we're going to indicate cell B2 because that's where we input our country. So basically what's going to happen here is if we select Canada, for example, then it will return the list of Canadian cities in this column. Let's hit OK. Canada, Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. Let's see Italy, Rome, Milan, and Venice. Let's see United States. And we see that's not working. And that's because we've input United States here, and it's trying to, it's trying to find a range called United States, but it's not finding it because we had to call it United States with no space, right? So how do we get the list of cities for United States to appear in the drop down here? We just need to tweak our formula. If we go back into data validation, so we'll keep indirect B2, but what we're going to do is we're going to add the substitute formula to remove the spaces from our reference here. So to do that, we'll just type substitute Two. And the format is basically the string that we want to replace text in, which is B2. And then we are going to type text that we want to replace, which is any space. And we want to replace any space with essentially nothing. So we can just do two quotes with nothing inside them. We need another bracket here. Hit OK. And now you can see our dropdown is working properly. When we click United States, we got our options, New York, Los Angeles, and Texas. Let's try again with Canada, just to show that it's working properly, Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. 
So there you have it. That's how you can create an advanced dropdown in Excel, uh, where one dropdown you know, depends on another. And you can add as many dropdowns as you want. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out as well. Let me know what my next video should be. This one was actually a suggestion from one of my subscribers. Happy to make more videos. Just let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks.